Everybody loves a great movie to watch at the movie theaters with a bunch of buddies, or maybe as a first date. Well, if you grew up through the year of 1997, you didn't have much of a problem finding one. 1997 was an amazing year for American film. When you think of great 1997 movies, a few might come to mind. Titanic, Jurassic Park 2, Men in Black, and Batman and Robin the... Oh. I freeze. To coincide with the release of Batman and Robin, Six Flags agreed to build three roller coasters. The biggest of the three was the infamous Batman and Robin the Chiller at Six Flags Great Adventure, which was a total flop just like the movie. The other two were put in at Six Flags St. Louis and Six Flags Over Texas. These were mirrored images of each other. The name chosen to represent these two rides was Mr. Freeze with the slogan, the coolest coaster on the planet. Unfortunately though, none of these coasters opened in 1997, which is unfortunate because Arnold Schwarzenegger and George Clooney were supposed to be at the opening of the ride at Six Flags Over Texas. All were pushed back to 1998 because of the revolutionary LIM or linear induction motor launches. However, when the rides opened, they were all hits for their parks. Today we are going to focus on the Mr. Freeze coasters, more specifically the Six Flags St. Louis version. However, I think this review could apply to the one in Texas because the only aspects that seem to be different is that they have a different color scheme and their layouts are mirrored. First off, we're going to talk about the presentation of the ride. Mr. Freeze can be seen from the interstate driving in, the parking lot, and all around the park. Just seeing that massive straight down spike can be intimidating for any park goer, especially the GP. The aspect of the presentation that is more intimidating, however, is the noise. This ride is no doubt the loudest roller coaster I've ever heard. You can hear its roar from all around the park and even in the parking lot. Before you enter the queue line of the ride, you find yourself in the park's DC Plaza. This plaza is also home to the park's dark ride Justice League Battle for Metropolis, which I ride when Mr. Freeze is down. The signage to indicate the start of the ride's queue is quite amazing actually. The logo is off to the left and the quote unquote mascot of Snowy's hovers above the entrance. Once you decide to ride, you enter through the mouth of the mascot and walk through a pretty long queue line. As you walk towards the station building, you get really close to the ride itself and get some really nice views and photo ops. Then you enter a nice air conditioned queue, which there is no theming besides the coolness of the queue. Then you get up to the station platform and you see the train ahead of you launching out backwards to 70 miles an hour, not to be seen again for 45 seconds. I've seen plenty of people freak out after seeing that. Overall, the presentation of the ride is quite impressive for a Six Flags Park, from the intimidation to the signage to the statue of Mr. Freeze above the launch track. Now we're going to talk about the layout. Mr. Freeze's course is very short, as it is with many shuttle coasters. First, you launch out backwards from 0 to 70 miles per hour. This is a pretty intense launch by itself, but add launching backwards and it becomes insane. Then you head straight up into a super forceful inverted top hat. You get tons of G's pulling into and out of the top hat. Next, you climb up into the most boring part of the ride, a pretty forceless overbank, but still fun. Then you pull into a massive 218 foot spike in which you have a feeling of weightlessness. There are also LIM boosters on the spike to push the train further up the spike than the gravity would allow so you get even more air than normal. Then these boosters launch you down into the course again. It also seems more forceful the second time and in the valley after the spike you get so many G's going down and pulling in and out of the top hat gives so many positive forces as well. Before I end out this video, we need to talk comfort on this ride. First of all, the ride is not the smoothest out there. It has a very bad rattle, enough to give some people a headache. However, I wouldn't call this ride rough at all, but that and the extreme intensity of the ride does make it hard to marathon. Also, the trains. The trains are super duper tight, especially on the feet and legs. If you are sitting in the front row of a car, one of your feet will feel smushed in between the unnecessary orange shin guards and the floor of the train. Also the lap bars are really bulky and they actually come down up towards your chest. These trains are not very forgiving if you're a larger person or even just tall. Overall though, this ride is considered by many to be world class. I think they call it this for the ride's intensity and no signs of slowing down. The only complaints I really have for this ride is the trains and the rattle, 
but they don't take away how amazing this ride is. I'm going to give this ride a 10 purely because it does not let down. This ride might even make you short of breath on the brake run as if you just sprinted a mile. Mr. Freeze is considered by many to be the standout ride in the park and I can 100% see why they are saying that. This ride is relentless. You need to come out to Six Flags St. Louis to ride this at some point in your life. Anyways guys, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button. And all the footage I use in this video is from the channels in the description. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.